Well, it was a one-man band, and he was really a one-man punk band, if you ask me. I think he was the king of rock and roll. King of psychobilly. His music is like uh, playing trash cans with a guitar on top of them. It definitely stood out. There's like there's people's voices like Willie Nelson or Ray Charles, where you know within two seconds that it's that it's them. You know, who would ever thought of doing punk rock and roll, one man band style? I mean, everybody was thinking about you know Elvis and Buddy Holly and the Beatles, and you know, and here is Hassel Atkins doing something that they couldn't even fathom. It's hard to beat Hassel, you know, especially the chicken album, you know. It makes you real hungry, but after the 15th chicken song, you're ready to have another chicken song is all there is to it, you know. If the trailer is rocking, don't come knocking. Hassel had a hair collection. I don't know if people know about this, but Hassel really liked hair. He didn't just want you to send pictures of yourself naked. He wanted you to send hair, too. It was one of those nights where he would like, he was giving his history lessons, you know, of rock and roll. It's like he played like 500 songs that night, but only about 10 seconds of each one. <laughs> and somebody from the party had left, they don't know who it was, stole one person's car, crashed into another car on their way out of the parking lot, and then drove off and they started chasing him down. They worked on this road, I mean, it's all going south and south and off. How am, I, how am I doing back You got to go ahead. You got to go ahead. Uh, he was about half drunk. They got him, brought him in the jail, and he asked him, could he have his guitar in, play, you know, in the bullpen. They let him have his guitar in his own cell. There was nothing fake or pretentious about him. He was just, you know, I was going to say he was just a psycho, but I'm trying to say he wasn't a psycho, you know. He was truly wild. Bam, 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 the cymbals and kick his drum. <laughs> There's... There's a chance Hassel did kill somebody uh, who tried to touch his guitar once, but we're not going to go there. I wouldn't tell him he was a rock and roll singer. I would, I would tell him that he was a country singer. And for several weeks, anyway, Hassel would call me at like 3 a.m. and say, Melissa, I got a song for you. I want you to sing it. <laughs> and then he'd proceed to sing it to me over the phone. <laughs> and um, my husband at the time was like, who the hell is calling you at 3 a.m.? He didn't like his meat, like, really cooked. And we drank some moonshine. Um, I didn't know it was moonshine. They just kept handing me this water bottle. And I was like, I don't want your water, old man. I'm drinking some beer. And then, then finally I realized it was moonshine. So I took a big sip and it tastes like gasoline. But then you taste of bubble gum. And I was like, why does it taste like bubble gum? And I look around the room and T-Model Ford and Elmo and, and Hazel, they're all chewing gum. So it was like old man backwash in the moonshine. Which is... Hazel showed up. And he had these electric blue socks on and some gray Playboy loafers and some bell-bottom Levi's and, and this uh, hang ten shirt and his <laughs> cowboy hat with his wraparound shade. Hassel was the, he was sort of like the David Niven of, um, of Appalachia, of West Virginia, of Madison. I loved Hassel. He was like a brother to me. I cooked him foods and I, I run errands for him. I lined him up with women. I want that here, I want that here, I want that here, I need it tonight. I want that here to hang on my wall. A trashy guitar and an inexpensive recording equipment. You can be a, a hillbilly, rockabilly, rock and roll star. It is star time, everyone. 
Hass Lackins is a great man, he's a beautiful person and he loves you. His time is long overdue and his time is right here. So here he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Hassel Atkins. Woo!